right, I want to talk to you today about having a mental image of where you're going. Um, now, with this, this has to do with your bull riding, but I'm going to use just an example here real quick, okay? This morning I had to get up and I had to go take some stuff to storage. So, you know what, before I take off, I know which way I'm going to turn when I get out of the driveway. I know what turns I'm going to take. I know what lanes I'm going to want to be in. And I know which side of the road the storage building is going to be on when I get there. Okay, so I do all this thinking because I want to know, this is my mind's way of letting me know where I'm going, what the destination is. Okay, and here's, here's how it pertains to bull riding. If you just slide up on your bull rope and close your hand and hope for the best, is probably not going to turn out too good. You've got to have your destination in mind and a plan of how you're going to get to your destination. Now, with the plan of getting to your destination, I mean, you know, most of us know which way our bull's going to turn back, and we know what we're going to do to get over there. What are we going to do if we get into trouble? Just say, for instance, if I know that my bull turns back into my hand and all I got to do is make moves over my head, you know, and to get there and make the eight-second whistle. Well, what happens if I get in the well a little bit too far? Do I have a game plan to get out of that? What happens if I get strung out a little bit? Do I have a game plan for that? Now, this is basically, you know, now let's look at this as having a your destination in mind. You've got your visual image of where you're wanting to go. Okay? So I say I got a bull that goes out there to the left and he's pretty good. He might turn jump out of it. Okay? Alright. So, my mental thought is, okay, I, he's got a good chance he's going to go out there and go to the left. But if he doesn't go to the left, I got to stay up on that front end so I can get around the corner away from my hand. Okay? Because I did right left-handed. So, he, you know, I... I got a, a game plan for that. If something happens, I got a game plan for it. If he jumps out there and I jump, make a big old giant move and he's just not there into my hand, I'm going to have to get out of there. So how am I going to get out of there? I got to move out to that front end, slide my hips over, let the bull kick a little bit under me to pick me back up. Okay, there's my game plan there. Um, and this is the whole deal. You got to have these game plans intact ahead of time. That way, when it's time for your body to react, you don't have to worry about the, the time it takes to get down, you know, the, the reaction time. If a bull happens to jump out the right and you're expecting him to go to the left, I've heard this a million times. Oh, he's supposed to go to the left. Damn it. And he went to the right. Well, you know, you got to ride him no matter which way it goes. So with that, you know, have that plan. So then it turns to reaction. You don't have to think, oh shit, he's supposed to go to the left. Damn it, I gotta go to the right. I gotta get to the front end. Now I'm too late. All of that goes through your head. And granted, it goes through your head a lot quicker, but it does take one tenth of, or uh, I'm sorry, not a, yes, one, one point one tenth of a second is the normal reaction time. So point one one, okay, one, so that would be one tenth of one hundred percent. Oh, one hundredth of a second is a reaction time. So with that, you don't have the time to think about all that. So you've got to have a plan going into your bull riding. So when you're out there and you're sitting back there, you know, I see people walking around and pacing and stuff like that. Forget about that. Make sure you've got a game plan going in. And once you've got your game plans ingrained in your brain, it becomes a no-brainer after that. This is Jim Compton, JSK Bull Ropes. Hey, you guys, go out, ride, ring, stick it on them. Bye now.